Well, today, a successful splashdown for NASA's Artemis I moon mission ship. The uncrewed Orion capsule was guided into the Pacific Ocean about 350 miles south of San Diego. The 25-day test flight cost billions, but the payoff, astronauts could be next. CBS's Mark Strassman has more. Splashdown. A homecoming splashdown, the first of many that NASA imagines in its lunar dreams. Orion is in great shape. Recovery teams pulled the Orion capsule from the Pacific. I don't think any one of us could have imagined the mission this successful. And liftoff of Artemis 1. 25 days ago, NASA launched the Artemis 1 test flight. In all, a 1.4 million mile lunar round trip. From deep space, Orion beamed back spectacular imagery of the moon and Earth. Twice the capsule flew within 80 miles of the moon's surface. But the mission's biggest test came during Sunday's return. Orion slammed into the Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. The heat shield had to hold up against temperatures of 5,000 degrees, half as hot as the surface of the sun. We're going to look at the data very carefully, but uh, I would say very happy with what we've seen so far on the heat shield. Sunday splashdown, 50 years to the day after another landing. Apollo 17 touching down on the lunar surface. Okay, Houston, the Challenger has landed. The last time humans moonwalked. NASA wants to return with the Artemis program. A crewed test flight around the moon in 2024, a moon landing later this decade. It is the beginning of the new beginning, and that is to explore the heavens. A new era in moon voyaging just moved one test flight closer. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.